How are skyscrapers built? Skyscrapers. The name given to the gigantic, multi-storied buildings, the name first came into use during the 1880s, shortly after the first skyscrapers were built in the United States, the development of skyscrapers came as a result of the coincidence of several technological and social developments. Some examples of world-famous skyscrapers are Taipei 101, Burj Khalif, 2,717 feet, the Petronas Twin Towers, Willis Tower, formerly Sears Tower, etc. A skyscraper is a high-rise building with over 40 to 50 floors. Many build-up cities worldwide have utilized the technology and advances to build upwards, rather than outwards, to help boost inner-city populations and offices for thriving businesses. Fighting Gravity The biggest issue with building upwards is the inevitable fight against gravity. When thinking about the height of buildings and understanding the problems with gravity, it's helpful to think about having a friend on your shoulders, Having one person on your shoulders may be difficult, but possible. However, when adding a second person to your shoulders, you're likely to collapse in a heap under the weight of two people. That is why a cheerleader pyramid often works well, as more than one person is bearing the brunt of the people's weight in the tower. The tower can easily stand as multiple people have a solid foundation. This is similar to how skyscrapers can be possible, however, only up to a certain number of floors. Advances in steel, Iron and steel production helped architects to reach new heights in their efforts to build taller buildings. It wasn't possible to keep increasing the width and strength of concrete foundations, so mass-produced steel and iron production helped build taller buildings. Long beams of solid iron meant a lightweight material could help hold more weight to help build a taller building. Creating a steel skeleton Skyscrapers are created using a steel skeleton structure, Giant girder grids are formed by riveting metal beams end-to-end -end to form vertical columns. The vertical columns are connected to horizontal girder beams on each floor to help strengthen and reinforce the structure. For additional support, many buildings also use diagonal beams between the girders. On the whole, this grid is known as the superstructure. The weight of the building is then distributed to the vertical columns. Engineering for elevators. As you increase the number of floors a building has, you increase the number of people occupying the building. With more people comes the increasing need to use elevators because who wants to climb more than 10 flights of stairs to get to work? The number of elevators required depends on a number of factors, such as how many floors the building will have and how many people will be within the building. But, increased elevator numbers also reduce the amount of floor space for each floor as the elevator shaft takes up more space. Designing tall buildings also requires attention to detail regarding elevators, stairways, and how people move in and out of the building. Dealing with wind, another factor that many architects and engineers need to consider when building tall structures is the force of the wind. Buildings don't want to be aerodynamic, and often, the wind doesn't simply sweep around the shape of a building easily. Buildings that look like sails or wings also tend to act like what they look like, picking up wind and generating lift and becoming dangerous. Because of this, buildings rely on nooks, ornaments, or small crannies within the building structure in order to catch the wind and slow it down. Some designers and engineers will create building prototypes and test them in wind tunnels to check on their durability and how they react to high winds. Onwards and upwards, buildings and structures will continue to grow upwards as engineers push the boundaries and limits of their designs. With the right tools, skyscrapers can both be an amazing display of design and engineering magnificence. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to get great content regularly.